Look, delighted to say I joined now by a regular, Eddie Patterson, Glen Torn manager. Eddie, things not too bad mid-season, you know, you're heading towards the Christmas period. Are you happy where you are at the moment, or are you unhappy, or middle of the road? Well, our target was, Lugie, that we would be uh, hopefully finishing in the top six. We're fifth place now at the moment, we're on target for that. Um, quite a big uh, festive period coming up now, big games involved, and if we can come out of that period still in the top six, then I'd be, I'd be more than pleased. Interesting, in the past few weeks I've been listening to you, you know, because I've been working on BBC myself as well, and uh, you've been interviewed, and you were talking a lot of times, not just even so much about the result, but the performance and the way the lads are playing. They're beginning now to buy into a lot of these younger lads, to buy into the way you want Glen Torn to play football. Absolutely, the coaching staff have been fantastic over the last number of months, and, and the squad has changed dramatically since, since we've taken over. We're quite a young squad now, a lot of new faces. I think Elliot Morris and, and Davey Howland are probably the only two remaining from uh, the team before, the, before we arrived. Um, we've been playing some good stuff, uh, and saying that, some of the games we've played, we've got the results. Some of the games, others games, like against Linfield, pulled it down. Um, we've put in performances and haven't got the, the results that we thought we deserved. But, you know, the, the main thing is now we're playing a brand of football that uh, I think the fans, um, you know, they admire. And if we can uh, now start getting a bit of experience into the team, maybe a couple of new signings, a couple of experienced heads. And if we can add to that, then well and good, the results might start coming. It's uh, very easy to put the boot into uh, the local game. I've been involved in it all this season as well in previous years. I think this season, more than most, some of the football being played has been really top quality. Absolutely, and I think you know, um, a lot of the pitches now they're in better condition maybe than what, than what they were maybe a long time ago. Um, uh, coaches now are, are of, a, of a standard and a quality that that uh, they've, we've come through our badges and, and we know what we want to do on the park. We've got you know I know at Glen Torn I've, I've uh, a few good coaches myself and. and they think the same way as myself, have the same philosophy, and I think that's important if you if you want your team to play, that your coaching staff have the same uh, philosophy as, as yourself. But uh, in saying that, you know, there's it's a very, very tight league this year. Uh, you look at the top six, uh, you look at the top five even, and you take ourselves, um, I think, four or five points are, are, are separating them all. Um, and, and anybody can beat anybody. Anybody the way, can beat the way anybody. It's, going. it's been proven, you know, the, the way it is. You know, you've got your Warren points and your institutes down there at the bottom. And we played Institute the other week, and, and we had a really, really tough time against them. Um, they played some pretty fantastic football, and we were very fortunate to come away um, with the three points at home. So, uh, you know, one point, another team uh, down at the bottom there, uh, and they're fighting tooth and nail. Uh, always a difficult place to go to. Uh, and then you've got you know, your, your, your top six the way they are at the moment. They're beating each other, put it down going to Crusaders last week in their own backyard, beating uh, Crusaders. They've been flying at the moment. Um, it's, it's it's just completely different to what it's been in previous years where Cliftonville have been running away with it. Now it's, it's quite tight at the top and it's it's anybody's for grabs. You look at it, you know, if any team up there gets a run of four or five games or three or four results in a row, you're right in the mix. And that, that's what we're hoping to do. If we can get a few results over the, the next number of weeks, then we could be right up there. Eddie, I was delighted you did that wee uh, Christmassy bit with uh, Warren Feeney, you know, and the two, as I know, are, are friends. But Dave, when it comes to the football and it comes when you walk out over the white line, you know, you're the manager of Glen Torn, he's the manager of Linfield, you will both want to beat each other. And there's no bigger occasion than the uh, Boxing Day and the Battle of the Big Two. Absolutely. Uh, the, the unfortunate thing at the moment with Windsor Park is the, the redevelopment of it, and it's not probably going to have the crowd that maybe it would have in, on a Boxing Day, and that, that's a sad thing. But irrespective of that, you know, we played there uh, a number of weeks ago, 2-2 two, two draw. Fantastic game, fantastic atmosphere, and, and I say a pitch to play football on that is second to none you know it's a quality surface uh, and we're looking forward to it as you say you know friends before the game once that first whistle goes then you're in the heat of battle anything can happen um, I just hopefully I'm on the sideline by at the end of 90 minutes it's one of the big games one of the big occasions in local uh, Irish league football perhaps the biggest game of them all too isn't it you know there's a lot of things going on around it in the past this maybe has been uh, affected by some of the wrong headlines but the message you have this year is go along enjoy the game and that's what fans should be doing enjoy the game i think there was a wee stat at the weekend there that the um crowds have been up attendances have been up 12 and a half percent uh, from this from from this season compared to last this time of the year and i think that's a great advert that, that something's going right uh, in the games. You look at the games over the, the, the period of months that we've been playing, there's a lot more goals being scored. It's been entertaining. There's teams wanting to play football. Um, you know, I, I, I can't remember a season that's been like it since I've come into management where it has been very, very tight, close at the top of the table. 
um, everybody f fighting for points as usual, um, but so, so close and a lot of goals being scored and that's the entertaining side of it. You know, people go to games to see goals come along on Boxing Day, whatever derby game you want to select and I guarantee it'll be a, a, a decent enough game that you'll see. Some of the fans of the Oval, they would see a, a good season, not just necessarily win the league, but just beating Linfield. They would see that almost as a, as a successful season. You're going to Windsor Park. Interesting, you tell me off camera there too, and you think about it, you've never won at Windsor Park on Boxing Day. That's according to Roy Coyle. Um, that's what I've been told you. Well, the fight of all knowledge, Roy Coyle. Yeah, absolutely. So he and, tells me. And he's been, through, <laughs> he's, been, he's been involved in many of those games on a Boxing Day, both home and away. Um, so, yeah, it's a big incentive. Uh, it's an opportunity for a lot of the young lads to, to put their name in a bit of history. And, um, you know, if that can, if that can be done, then, then great. Obviously, overall, you know, it's, it's what we do throughout the course of the season. Uh, but anyone who's, who's connected with Linfield and uh, Glentoran, Boxing Day is the biggie of the year. And, you know, bragging rights maybe for the rest of the season. But um, it's a massive, massive game uh, uh, during the festive period. Uh, put the point to Warren, he was saying that uh, for the only the second time in uh, 18 years being involved in the professional game, uh, he will not be working on Christmas Day. But the festive period, the Christmas period for uh, part-time footballers, it's serious. Should there be a break? Should there be a look at fixtures, Eddie? What do you think? Is it too much to ask? I think there should be a break, but whether that's over the Christmas period, I doubt it. Um, maybe maybe mid-January, something like that. I think the Christmas period, everyone wants to go out of the house. They want to go out and watch a bit of football. And, and basically, the Boxing Day and New Year's Day games, you know, the paramount in, in the Irish League. And I think, you know, a wee break maybe after that would be ideal, but I think the fans, uh, I think they would be up in arms if we were to take a break over the Christmas period. And I, have you been impressed by the input so far? You, you talk about the attendances have gone up with the, the NIFL. Do you, think, do you think they're beginning to try and get to grips with the situation and with the issues with regard to the local game? Absolutely. I think you know, there's always been a big issue about um, the venues and, and the, the standard of venues that, that, are, that are being used. And I think you know, outside uh, NIFL have no jurisdiction over that at all whatsoever. But what they are trying to do, they're, they're, they're promoting our game, our product very, very well. Um, thanks, thanks to the bank, staying involved with it again this season. And, and Friday night football, what do you think of that? Friday night football, well, apparently by all accounts, we haven't played yet, but mm -hmm. by all accounts, the crowds have been, uh, you know, there's been good attendances at the games, um, some decent games, and, you know, up to now, as far as I'm aware, it's been a success. Um, we look forward to, to whatever we get, uh, whatever we get, we get involved with a Friday night game, should that be February, March, April, whatever it is, but you know, something to think that we've got to try, and that's one thing that Niffle's trying to do, bring ideas out that uh, they're throwing them out there and asking the clubs to, to partake in them, and that can really be good for the game. Eddie, thanks very much. I suppose over the Christmas period, no turkey and ham for you, all you want is points. Three points at Windsor Park on uh, Boxing Day. Good lad, thank you.